Good morning. I'm Brandon Burton, Fire Chief, City of Wahala Fire Department. This morning we're here with the Southern Four Wheel Drive Association to talk about the proper and safe installation of car safety seats for children. The Wahala Fire Department is also a partner with Safe Kids Upstate through the Greenville Hospital System to become a car seat installation checking station. When a parent or a caregiver comes to us at the fire department and asks us to check their child safety seat, one of the first things we turn to is the owner's manual for the vehicle that you bring. Inside the owner's manual, you'll find information pertaining to how to correctly anchor a given car seat into your vehicle. Uh, there are several methods that you can use, and we'll go through those later in the video. Once we look through the owner's manual to make sure, number one, that the car seat can be safely and correctly installed into the vehicle, we we often turn to our phones and our tablets and look at uh, a Safer Car app because we'll take the, the name, the model number, and the year that the car seat was manufactured, punch this in to make sure that the car seat has not been recalled. Once we have done that, we will visually inspect the car seat, make sure all the components and parts and pieces are, are there. Uh, it's not been involved in a previous crash and there's no obvious signs of damage to the car seat. We've gotten the appropriate car seat for the child. Uh, we wish to restrain. Again, it's rear facing. Uh, it's in the rear passenger side of the vehicle. Uh, there are several ways that we can anchor this seat down to the actual car seat. Uh, the way we're going to demonstrate right now is using the shoulder belt. Uh, what you want to do is pull the seat belt all the way out, the shoulder belt all the way out to make sure that it does in fact lock. Uh, this one's retracting and locking, and that's what you want. You will feed your buckle and your belt through the seat. And, and most child seats have labels and, and diagrams on how to correctly do this. Okay. And you, you can hear it click as we bring it back up. Get the child seat positioned in here. Make sure it's locked. It is. Tighten that belt for a little bit. Push down on it. All right. No more than an inch of play, side to side. And that's the shoulder belt installation and attachment of a car seat to the vehicle seat. Here we've graduated up to the forward facing child seat. Um, actually, it's the same seat, uh, but depending on your child's height and weight, you can turn the seat around from a rear-facing to a forward-facing car seat, and depending on the manufacturer. Uh, several things you need to take into account is the state requirements. Some states require that child be in a rear-facing seat for up to two years. Uh, some may not have that requirement, so you need to check your requirement, your state requirement, and check the manufacturer's recommendations on that as well. There's a, several ways to anchor uh, a forward facing child safety seat. We're going to demonstrate a couple of those. Uh, the most common way in vehicles now is to use the anchors and the tether system and we'll demonstrate that. Same way as the rear facing seat, you just find your anchor points inside the seat and, and clip to it. And also with this seat, it also has a back tether to where it can hook into the back of the seat back here so that way the front of the seat doesn't go up if you're in or up. Here we've graduated up to a high back booster seat. Uh, this is the next step beyond the front facing uh, child restraint seat. Uh, operation of this is a little bit different. Uh, as you can see, we've taken out the harness system in it because the child has outgrown. Um, the, the need for the harness and can, can be safely restrained with a high back booster and the shoulder belt. You, again, you want to pull the shoulder belt until you hear it click so it will lock in and securely restrain your child. Make sure it comes across the chest and lock it into the 
retainer clip. Um, and as with these high back booster seats, this right here that goes around the child's head, you can adjust it. Some of them have buttons right here, so you can adjust it up and down. You want to keep this right here at the bottom of the child's chin. All right, for the next stage of car seats, we're going to be using the booster seat, which comes after the high back booster and after your child outgrows the high back. And just put the child in on the booster seat. Take the seat belt. And put the seat belt up. Make sure it goes across their waist area and across their shoulder, not up close to their neck. 